If you're looking to make investments and some gains outside of the cryptocurrency market, you don't want to deal with volatility anymore. I recommend you watch this whole video. We're going to dive in deep into my stock portfolio and I'll show you why. All right. The first one on my stock portfolio list, add this one to your watch list is Amazon. Right now I'm on the Amazon web services platform. That's one of the many businesses that Amazon have founded by Jeff Bezos, right? So Amazon web Web services. Also, I shop at Whole Foods. Amazon owns Whole Foods. Amazon also has a streaming platform, you know, about Prime and all the things that they're doing over there. And they're building out more businesses as we speak, a staple to the American economy. So that's number one, Amazon. Number two on my list is Eli Lilly. This is a phar pharmaceutical company. They deal with diabetes, obesity, and a few other things that they are dominating the market. So definitely add Eli Lilly to your list. That adds some diversification to your portfolio. Third on my list is Costco. I also shop at Costco. Costco is a wholesale retailer. If you've ever been there, there's always a line. It's always going crazy. So make sure that you add Costco to your list. They getting a lot of money. Do your research. Fourth on my list is a smaller cap company by the name of Comfort Systems. They build HVAC systems, plumbing, electrical, and they deal with a lot of the big warehouses, big institutions, and they are spreading definitely out in the South, in the United States, a smaller cap company that has been going crazy over the last years, a lot of revenue. And the last earnings I listened to, they are steadily improving and they're going to the upside financially. So that's fourth on the list. And number five, Tesla just added Tesla to my portfolio. I think it has a bright future. It had a crazy run in 2021 and then it pulled all the way back this year at the time of this video it's down to about 10, 12 percent year to date. And I think it's a great buying opportunity. If you've seen Elon Musk recently, he revealed that they're going to have robo taxis. They have the robots. They have a lot of things in the works. So I'm banking that this company gets its finances together, starting starts making more sales and then positions itself in the AI and robotic space. So we just added Tesla to the portfolio. And then number six is Invesco's QQQ ETF. This is basically NASDAQ, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Facebook or Meta, Google, Tesla, Costco, it has all of those up in there in the top 10 holdings. I think this is always a game changer to have a solid ETF like QQQ in your portfolio. And then finally, I have the Schwab US Dividend ETF, equity ETF, uh, ticker symbol SCHD, we call it SHED, right? Um, and this one has companies that strictly pay dividends and they've been paying dividends for a long time. Again, you got the Home Depots in there, you got the Lowe's, you got the McDonald's, the Walmarts, you have uh, the companies that always are paying. And if they're not paying, they are not in this portfolio. So overall, you're gonna get a solid basket of companies that's gonna pay you money quarterly. And that's what I have in a portfolio. We'll go back through them. Amazon, Eli Lilly, Costco, Comfort Systems, Tesla, QQQ, and Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. So if you wanna get away from so much volatility or at least diversify from your crypto assets, make sure that you build a solid stock and ETF portfolio. Tap in on the next video, leave any comments or questions you have below. Passive income, passive income, gold in my dental, thank God for my mental. Investor fundamentals told my girl it was simple.